So, and it's time now to go to the my first Ajax jersey, which yes, I wish I had the one from 94, 95 or 95, 96, but back then I just couldn't afford it. But in 96, 97, I saw this beauty at a local store. And Ajax at that moment was easily among my top three favorite teams, if not my, yeah, top three. It was uh, Lask, Milan, Ajax. I actually think I'm gonna close here a little bit more because the colors will show off better. Um, really super nice classic Ajax shirt. Note how unlike the 1999 away jersey, the Umbro logo here still has the two diamonds and just fits here. And then of course you again have the sponsor which is uh, printed within the fabric. This is a white jersey where this center band is just printed on. So uh, this sponsor will never come off which I like a lot. This is within the fabric. Uh, only the club logo is stitched on, which is perfect. And Ajax is maybe one of the few teams that really should always have the club logo centered. It makes so much sense with this bold pattern. What's also bold is, uh, is the color with the many, many red and white, which is already mirrored on the sleeves. And then um, the shadow pattern in there. And I think this was only worn in 96. In 97, they just put a big crest on there. I'm not 100% on those details, but when you Google 96, 97 Ajax jerseys, uh, they show two versions of this one. They all look the same, but the shadow pattern is different. And I'll show you the shadow pattern of this one in a second. Uh, and I know that in the Champions League semifinal, they were wearing the one with the crest and not this one. But what's the shadow pattern? It's actually quite confusing, but here on the back, you can see it probably best. I think this is the, you can see it here, the town hall of Amsterdam. And then there's always written a little bit in weird letters, Ajax, 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 Ajax everywhere. Uh, there are also the three X's in there for the Amsterdam flag. You can see them here. And yeah, it's an, kind of an all over pattern that only becomes obvious when you get closer to this shirt. Um, I loved this, that there is some reference to the city. Uh, again, I think you, you saw it. You can see here is the tower. Often there's some statue, whatever in here. I have unfortunately never been to Amsterdam, which is one of the big misses in my travels. I really want to go to Amsterdam and see the city by myself, uh, for myself. But yeah, and on the front, the red stripe has the pattern big and then the same pattern is very small, repeated, repeated, repeated over and over on the front, if you can see. So very interesting. I also find it interesting how the collar is kind of open here. Fortunately here, the thread that was hold, holding this together is slightly opened already. Uh, yeah, I've worn this a lot. The other thing is you can already see I mean, if, if the sun is very, very see-through and this is because there is a lot of ventilation. This one is actually nice to wear. Um, do you see it? There are thousands and thousands and thousands of holes all over the shirt, which gives this a really good ventilation that I loved in those 90s soccer jerseys. Um, when you run or when there's wind, you actually feel the wind. This is, this, that's a nice feature that I always like to have. And you couldn't always get on those. I have actually only two or three jerseys with this feature. Uh, really nice. Now, things that bug me is, well, because of this printed pattern, if you see here how the shoulder changes and it's not seamless and it becomes very apparent here on the other shoulder. That bugs me, <laughs> really. I'm, I know I, I don't see this, but Actually, this jersey I've worn a lot. Uh, last year I was about to wear it and I saw uh, Ajax didn't qualify for the Champions League. I might wear it tomorrow or someday soon. Yeah, one of my absolute favorites. It's kind of old. It is probably sixth, seventh jersey that I have. If I think I had an Italy, I had a, a Milan, I got the Brazil. I had the France jersey and I think right around the time I got this one, it's the, probably the, my fifth jersey overall. So has definitely some vintage, has some wear and tear, but not that much. This actually is in quite good condition, I would say. Maybe on the collar you can see a little bit more, but overall this shirt, the way it's made, I'm actually quite happy with this one. So yeah, 
let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, you have any memories? This one, I've uh, said Champions League semi final, this was the first season where, last season under Louis van Gaal, the first season where all the stars were gone. They made it only to the Champions League final. I think they only finished second in the group to Osea. Then they had this great away win to Atletico Madrid in the quarterfinals and then they were destroyed by Juventus. Yeah, it's kind of the first sign of a downfall, but at least I got a nice shirt out of that one. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey, uh, whether you have a similar jersey, whether you have some memories with Ajax or this particular jersey. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.